Hi guys, wanted to make a short video today to show you something you might be struggling with like I've been the last few weeks. I have this uh, large propane tank that we use as a backup source for heating with a furnace in our house. We normally heat with coal, but over the last few years I have thought it would be a good idea to get a generator that was big enough to power most of our stuff in the house in case we have a power outage or who knows what. So I bought this Westinghouse generator and my idea was to use a long hose and go from the tank using that long 3 8 ID hose over to my garage we're gonna have the generator sitting out of the weather and have a large capacity fuel source so I had this plumbed this runs to the house and then this tees off and then I could hook up a generator running a line to my garage however when I just hooked up that line directly after coming through this pressure reducer valve this wouldn't run and I'm assuming this is some kind of a valve here but for whatever reason it would not work so i had them put on a grill hose connection so the day the gas guys were here i tried hooking this grill hose line up to my generator and we tried it and it would fire up but then it would die right away so what we thought that day was that we had a valve here a valve here and a valve here and it was just reducing it too much i'll show you what i mean so turn the gas on and fire this up. And that's all it would do. It, it maybe try to start or start up momentarily and die again. So I was kind of beside myself what to do. Couldn't really figure out what was going on, but I happened to have another hose around and this hose has two valves back to back. I don't know what the difference is, but I decided to give it a shot. And for whatever reason, this generator must be really sensitive to the flow or the gas pressure that comes to it. And with this hose, it worked. So I've already tried it. I've um, hooked this short hose with the valve on it up to my 3 8 hose that's about a 40 foot long hose and it will run just fine. So if you're battling this issue, it might just be that you gotta have the right valve here in between your main valve on your tank and your generator. I wish I knew more of the technical side of why it takes this particular hose. It says it's an LPG slash NG hose. So I'm guessing that's propane and natural gas. 3 8 standard. But that's all I can tell you about it is that it took this particular configuration to make it work. What was really confusing was that the generator would run off of a grill tank using either hose. That was really throwing a wrench in the hole figuring it out. So hope that helps you guys out. Until next time, good luck with all your projects.